What's up guys, it's Risky here. Welcome back to some more Beam and G. Today, we're in this sweet old muscle car um, and we're just gonna drive around and see how she performs in the stock form here. And then we're gonna do some custom upgrades to it and then rip her around here on the uh, the highway map or the Los Angeles map, whatever this is called, I can't remember. I don't think this is Los Angeles. I, I, I don't know, okay? Yep, we got the track IR by the way. That's why I'm looking around if we go into the cab view. If I find the button here, you can see I can look around. It's almost like I'm in VR, except it's not VR. And I also got the Logitech G29 hooked up. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's go ahead and uh, I'll show you exactly what car we're in really quick. That way you know. We are in this one right here, the Barstow 291 V8 Road Sport Package. And the M stands for manual. Uh, so we don't want to be driving no dang automatics. Uh, but let's get the heck out of here and let's go get over to the highway and just rip this puppy or puppy i don't know just rip this bad girl down the highway and just you know see how she does i guess and we'll do some burnouts and stuff and then we'll go through like a supercharger and some i don't know some other fun crazy stuff on her and go rip her again you know it's all for fun that's all we're doing get on the highway here there is no traffic oh shoot you gotta be easy on her in second gear she's got some power get on her here Think she's already up to 80 over rev risk. Oh, that's kind of my fault because I forgot to shift there. This one only has four gears, by the way, so we're already in fourth gear. Let's hold her straight. We're going 110 or 115, it says, but down there it says 120. I guess the speedometer in the car is slightly off. I don't know. Come on, we gotta get all the way down to the end here. She ain't topped out yet. Well, I think she topped out now. About 128. Okay. We gotta slow down here. She only goes about 130 mile an hour, which ain't too bad, honestly, for an old school car like this, but we wanna go faster than that. Before we do that, I wanna do some burnouts. So let's rev it up here and let's just, let's send it. Oh god. <laughs> roll cage? Of course. I mean, it's it's going to be ripping. We got to have a roll cage. I think it's going to save our life. Come on now. Wait a minute. Fuel tank? Racing fuel cell? Of course. Got to throw in the racing seats. Rear We don't need it. We don't need a passenger seat. Wait, that was that was rear seats. Yeah, we don't need those either. Passenger seat, sorry. We're, we're, we don't need a passenger. Get the heck out of here. Shift light, those are always nice to have. Steering wheel, we'll throw on one of these uh, racing style ones. We don't really need a wheeling bar. We're not going to make it like an all-out drag car. We'll put the cal induction. I love those. Those are like my favorite type of hoods on like old school muscle cars and trucks and stuff. It's just a cal, in cal induction. They look awesome. All right, here we go. Engine, this is the bread and butter. A 291, we want to step that up to a 423 cubic inch ultra th ultra thrust excuse me v8 engine long block we got ultra heavy duty we're gonna go up as max as we can stage three ultra heavy duty engine mounts we're doing the whole nine yards here oh we got that uh race dual exhaust mid coming straight out underneath there you can see them and that immediately changed the sound of the car oh yeah she sounds nice now we got cast exhaust or tubular Go for the uh, tubular. Screw it. Four barrel carburetor, quad carb. Can we do twin four barrel carburetor? Because why not? Oh my god, look at that in there. That looks nuts. Another thing we're really going to need uh, is a high performance radiator. We'll just do the high performance radiator. We don't need the drag one. Not really making this an all out drag car. Let's do the race six speed uh, manual transmission. That way we can open this old girl up a little bit more. And I think that's going to be it. I don't really want to do anything for the wheels. I didn't really want to do anything cosmetic wise other than like, you know, racing seats and things like that. I kind of just wanted it, wanted to turn it into a badass little racing truck or car, excuse me, that I can just whip around on the highway and have fun. And so if I'm not mistaken, that pretty much looks good. Uh, I mean, I don't really think we need to do brakes. Uh, I guess we could. Let's do race rear drum brakes. What about our, our rear differential? Okay, let's do it. Let's do a, a race locked. And go ahead and put it in gear. Sorry for me looking like that. I was just moving my head around 
making sure everything was good. I wish the roll bar wasn't chrome, but there's nothing we can do about it. And it looks a lot cooler in here now. We're in the racing seat, the racing wheel. You can see those uh, the twin four barrel carburetors in there underneath that cal induction hood. Uh, one thing I didn't add was nitrous. Maybe we'll do that at the end, but let's go for a rip here. Oh, she sounds good. Oh my goodness, this thing is going to haul some ass. We're in first right now. In second. Once we get off this... Alright, let's go. Oh yeah! Don't wreck it, don't wreck it, come on! Hold on to her. Yeah, she definitely has a lot more power than she did before. There we go. Third gear. Wait a minute. What the heck? Oh. I'm so dumb. I was putting it in the wrong gear, man. I'm an idiot. I was like, what the heck is going on here? We're going to have to run that back then. I'm stupid. I put the gear like in my actual gearbox on my uh my, my wheel into the wrong gear slot but let's rip this thing again and actually shift properly this time you don't want a red liner too far because you see what happens she gets loose just like that <laughs> man she sounds mean though look at that big block Went overheating. We're good. Don't even worry about it. What 160? Oh boy. Yeah, that's not what we wanted to happen. Come on, get off the wall. Well, what do we top out at? Like 160 or something like that? I didn't really get to pay attention. I was too busy driving. But she definitely went a lot faster than she did before. We can go ahead and reset her and let's go somewhere and do a nice little burnout. <laughs> Sorry if you heard a loud pop there. That was my hand hitting my microphone from trying to save that and somehow I did. Alright, this is kind of an open spot. Let's Let's do a burnout now. Go over the curb. Grind them, find them. Oop, and we stalled her again. This isn't really the best place to do a burnout. And donuts. I just not very good at it. <laughs> go we're kind of getting it on oh, of course i hit the dang light pole man nitrous oxide system mio's drag kit yeah that's the one i want because that's a good mod you know what let's go all the way and let's do a 250 shot i don't even care do a little third person action too for you guys <laughs> yeah this thing's insane it's kind of like a death trap honestly line up real quick engage our nitrous You can't really floor this thing all the way. If you do, that happens. Kind of scary. Oh my gosh, this thing is actually kind of insane to handle. Like, if you could feel what I'm feeling in my wheel right now, it's like, it feels crazy. Piston rings damage. That's lovely. Head gasket damage. Yeah, she's about to blow up. Actually, let's just send her into the wall. Oh god. 
Well, this is what it would look like in first person view. I mean, actually, I think we'd be okay. Thankfully, we have a roll cage. We'd be, we'd be all right in here for the most part. Exactly why I put that roll cage in there, because I knew this was going to happen. This thing got destroyed. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Had a lot of fun. We turned the old muscle car into a muscle monster i guess we could call it had a lot of fun today if you want to see more beam and g let me know in the comment section down below also like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one later